Hello, this is going to be a pretty short video today, but uh, I just want to talk about the future of the channel, what I plan to do with it, and uh, and we're, we're going to have a movie to talk about, but uh, let's get into the, the, the whole channel situation first. So, as you already know, I've been uploading videos kind of every day. Um, these, these movie talk episodes are going to be Monday through Friday. Uh, they're not going to be on weekends, so expect expect one every day of the week. Um, if I miss a day, please don't get mad at me. I have a life, and I might not be able to, you know, edit, record, you know, watch a movie, any one of those. I might not be able to do it, you know, one day. Um, so just 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 bear with me. I am also working on another series called Kingdom Hearts Scuffed. And you will see, I guess, what that is once it comes out. But if you like that game series, or if you just like games in general, check it out. I don't know. Uh, I'm very excited for that one because I that that one's something fun that I've been, you know, working up on and editing. I just need to wait until I can buy the game again because I left it in New York and I'm not there anymore because of the whole situation that we're in right now but yeah i've been do working on edits for that and stuff it's gonna be real real funny and real real fun so check it out if you can anyways today we're gonna be talking about goodfellas um i'm sorry for the glare on my computer screen i don't know how to help it i don't have professional lighting or anything so there's probably gonna be glare on a lot of these kind of pictures on my computer but I mean I think I'd rather have that than just have it have nothing on there at all so Goodfellas is directed by the highly known and renowned Martin Scorsese and it came out in 1990 yeah uh, there's not much that I can say about this film that hasn't already been said this is one of the most critically acclaimed films of all time I'm just going to start out with a couple things I loved that I wrote down in my notes. One of the things I loved are the iconic and ironic contrasts and senses that Scorsese presents to the viewer with his directing style. And that's pretty much just differences in what the viewer sees or what the viewer hears to make an uncomfortable situation even more uncomfortable. It's been done a lot in media in general tv shows movies whatever it's been done a lot especially recently the last thing i think i remember seeing it in was stranger things season three where there's a brutal just you know brutal act like a murder and then in the background there's just like pop music and and you know fun you know fun time music i guess like or, or like in us like the beach boys um it, it's been done a lot um but I feel like this is like where it pretty much got its roots with Martin Scorsese. I also really enjoyed the extent to which a lot of these characters would go with their actions and their dialogue. At the beginning, you see Joe Pesci's character, who's amazing, by the way, and what an amazing actor. You see his character, you know, joking about, and everyone's laughing and having a good time. And the main character, played by Ray Liotta, uh, his character, Henry Hill, is uh is like you know you're a real funny guy and every all of a sudden everyone stops laughing and he's like and and joe pesci's character gets all serious and he's like you would you would you call me a funny guy and that that scene goes on for a minute a minute and a half maybe and it's so uncomfortable and in the end he's just like i'm fucking with you and they start laughing again and it's it's you know it's it it's crazy uh, there's there's numerous you know there's numerous examples of that throughout the film where the characters just go so far and it really shows it really tells a lot about their character and and the passion to which they have for certain things. Speaking of Joe Pesci's character, though, that's one of the best performances I've ever seen in my whole entire life and one of the greatest characters ever written. Uh, never portrayed on screen i i believe i wholeheartedly believe that but really all the performances in, uh, in this film are without saying amazing and i love that this was based off a true story 
uh, that's that it's just it's just, it makes it so much wilder and so crazy but what's really crazy is watching this after the Irishman and just seeing how similar they are in directing style and how much you know Martin Scorsese not only does he have a great influence on other people's work but he, he has a great influence on his own work but I will say I like Goodfellas a lot more um, I think it was just more entertaining of a film uh and I, I just enjoy the story more, personally. They're both great films, though. I'll have to talk about Irishman one day, but they're both great. But overall, like I said, I think I just I just personally thought Goodfellas was more entertaining. I thought it was more memorable. I like the characters in it more. I think they're 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 not funner is not a word, but you know that that's pretty much what I think of them. I think they're more fun, and this movie is just outright lovable i love this film thinking back on it, it, it i love it it's great as a gangster story it's everything i want and more but yeah that's all i have for today so please click like comment add to the discussion uh, i'd love to hear your thoughts on goodfellas martin scorsese or any any film in general or recommendations i will gladly take recommendations um, I think if this channel gets big enough, uh, or if, you know, I get any views at all, <laughs> and someone recommends me something, I will most likely do it. So yeah, just let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for coming, thanks for sticking with me, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.